Hello and welcome to our daily Bible reading here at the West Main Church of Christ. I am Benjamin Lee. I hope and pray all is well with you. This week we're into a new book, 1 Corinthians, and we're going to be reading chapters 1 and 2 this week. This is all designed really for you to read and then to read again and to consider uh, many of the things that we can take away from these chapters. So as you begin 1 Corinthians, I want to give you a couple of thoughts. Number one, to find out more information or to see when Paul first went to Corinth, you can go back to Acts chapter 18. We find Paul in Corinth in Acts chapter 18, and we see that Paul would stay there for a long period of time. After he had left Athens, it says in chapter 18 and verse 1, after these things he left Athens and went to Corinth. And he found a Jew named Aquila, a native of Pontus, having re recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla, because Claudius had commanded all the Jews to leave Rome. He came to them. When you look at verse number 9, we find, actually in verse number 7 of Acts chapter 18, it says, Then he left there and went to the house of a man named Titus Justus, a worshiper of God whose house was next to the synagogue. Crispus, the leader of the synagogue, believed in the Lord with all of his household, and many of the Corinthians, when they heard, were believing and being baptized. So they heard the gospel message, they believed what they heard, no doubt they repented of their sins as well, and they were baptized for the forgiveness of their sins. And the Lord said to Paul in the night by vision, Do not be afraid any longer, but go on speaking and do not be silent. For I am with you, and no man will attack you in order to harm you, for I have many people in this city. And he settled there a year and six months, teaching the word of God among them. So we find Paul in Acts chapter 18. He's in Corinth. He's proclaiming the gospel, the word of God. And when you read 1 Corinthians, you get to see how many lives have been changed, particularly when you read 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Paul is going to write this in the city of Ephesus, and he's going to write it between 52 to 56 AD. Um, some seem to emphasize that time period. Others say 56 AD. Uh, and so he's going to write to the saints here in Corinth. Now, there are many issues that need to be addressed by the saints or by the Apostle Paul. That's what he's going to do in this letter. And so as we read this letter here, uh, if you read chapter 7, for example, he says, Now, concerning the things about which you wrote, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. So these saints had reached out to Paul. They had written some things, and now Paul is going to be answering many of the things that need to be addressed. So keep that in mind as you go about reading First and Second Corinthians and the entire book for that matter. So Paul is going to communicate. He's going to give them inspired words, and he's going to have to help them to remember a lot of things about who they are and where their focus needs to be. I hope this helps. We'll talk a little bit more tomorrow. Take care and God bless. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook for more content like this.